So today on Outperform, we're gonna go over how to find out your VO2 max. Now, there are uh, more complicated ways, obviously, that you've seen the treadmill test where you hook to a breathing machine and you look like Darth Vader, but let's just keep it simplistic because not everybody has those capabilities and not everyone has access to those type of things, okay? So I'm gonna show you a simple formula that works just as good I really don't care if people don't agree with me. It works just as well because everything is just a marker, okay? So it's just like standing on a scale. If the scale is not, I mean, just so perfect and calculated and it's just exactly your weight, as long as it's consistent, there's your marker. So I know that each week when I weigh on on that same scale that I'm consistently either losing or gaining weight or, or whatever my goal is at the point, but the, the scale itself is a good marker. The VO2 we're gonna do here on the board is a marker, so that way three months later or quarterly throughout the year, you can retest it again using the exact same formula. Don't use a different formula, it'll be different. And then you're about to tell, are you getting in better shape or worse shape? Now, also, why do we want to increase our VO2 max? The thought process behind it is the fact that if you have a higher VO2 max, you are better to uptake oxygen into your blood and into your system and produce more ATP, which will give you more energy for whatever sustained exercise you're doing. It doesn't really matter. So the more VO2 you've got, the more your body can process the oxygen more efficiently, the better you off you'll be. So this is a good marker to start with athletes just to see where they're at. And so that way when you retest them, you can see if they're getting any better with your methods or if they're slacking off and not listening to you. Okay, so the VO2 max. All right, here is the basic formula. 15 times your max heart rate divided by your resting heart rate, okay? So my max, I'm sorry, my resting heart rate was 60 beats per minute, okay? I have an app on my phone, I just use that. You can take your pulse, count in one minute how many pulse readings you got, there's your resting heart rate. All right, so what I have to do is I have to find out my resting heart rate, which is 60 beats per minute. I need to know what my heart rate max would be. So. A simple formula that a lot of people use is 220 minus your age. I'm 41. That gives me a maximum heart rate of basically 180 beats per minute. I should not try to exceed that. It's just a, just a marker. It doesn't mean if I ever go over, my heart's going to blow up and die. Because a lot of times I go well over 200 and the, the scans can't even read it anymore. It's not a big deal. All right, so we need to take these two numbers and we need to divide them, okay? So we got our heart rate max, which we got from 220 minus our age, which is 179, so I have it right here. My resting heart rate is 60 beats per minute, so I have it right here. When I divide those together, I get 2.9, all right? Now that I have 2.9, I need times 15, and that equals 44.75 VO2 max. Is that good? It's pretty good, it's pretty decent. Not what I would like it to be, I would like to be more like in the 50s, but I'm just beginning my conditioning protocol for my tournaments coming up at the end of March, so I'd say I have a good five to six weeks to really bring that up into like the 50 range and I have no problem, I feel like I'll get that done. Uh, I normally bump it up really high and then I give my body a break and I come back down. You can't sustain that type of level over and over and over. So this is how you figure out your VO2 max. It's very simple formula, it's very effective formula. It will help you gauge yourself on your progress. And if you're wondering what is a good VO2 max, you basically want to shoot for anything above 40 no matter what your age range is, uh, age range is for, for males for sure. For women, I, I, I'm drawing a blank, I really can't remember. For males, regardless of age, 40 and above is really good. Naturally, if you're like 
15 years old, you know, you don't really want to be lower than probably 45, but anything above 40, you're, you're in pretty damn good shape. So I hope this helps you out and explains a little bit more on VO2 max, the importance of it, and why it's important for you to train and work yourself. Have a good one.